Hello, my name is Brandon Itzkovich, and today I will be presenting the last part of the essay Modern Times Cinema Americanism, The Robot by Peter Wolin. It is very important to understand who was Siegfried Krakauer before going into an in-depth analysis of the last part of the essay written by Peter Wolin. Siegfried Krakauer was born on February 8, 1889. He was a German writer, film theorist, and journalist. The Mass Ornament is an essay he wrote that was referred to multiple times in the essay written by Peter Wolin. The main topics and ideas of Krakauer's essay was mass art and its relationship with the technological developments of the first half of the 20th century. The Mass Ornament Girl and Crisis this part of the essay deals with the Rakettes and the Tiller Girls. As we see in the left image, we have the Tiller Girls, and in the right image, we have the Rakettes. Siegfried Krakauer put forward the third model of mass culture in his essay, The Mass Ornament, which is discussed in this part of the essay. Krakauer's central image of art in the age of engineer was that of the Tiller Girls. Now you may be asking, who was the Tiller Girls? The Tiller Girls was a dance troupe that represented for 1920s Berlin a form of popular entertainment which then got replicated around the world in either live shows or film. <clears throat> Krakauer saw this as a reflection of Fordism and American mass production. Fordism is a system of mass production that was pioneered by the Ford Motor Company, as we see in this middle picture, a representation of Fordism. Quote, the hands in the factory correspond to the legs of the Tiller girls, close quote. The mass ornament mirrors the production process of Fordism, meaning a series of formal operations carried out on meaningless parts. The movement these girls did were the same movements as machines, such as lines, rotations, and repetitions. Krakauer argued that the female body and its component parts were de-eroticized. The human and sexual elements were transformed into mirror building blocks and nothing more. This means that the way the female body was represented in mass media and popular culture at the time dehumanized and degraded women. Alan Turing's concept of computer developed through imagining a standardized worker, meaning that his vision of computers is shaped by his understanding of the way standardized workers were used in industrial production. The assembly line workers and the tiller girls are subjected to a segmentation and formalization of the body itself. This means that the assembly line workers and the tiller girls are required to perform their tasks in a repetitive and specialized manner which involves using the same bodily movements repeatedly, which can lead to segmentation. And since these individuals are organized in a controlled manner, this leads to formalization, meaning that their actions are regulated by strict rules and procedures. The Tiller girls offered the spectacle of female bodies and movements duplicating the alienated forms of the Fordism labor process. This means that the movements of the Tiller girls were done to resemble the repetitive mechanical actions of assembly line workers in the Fordism labor process. According to this statement, it emphasizes how the Tiller girls were a reflection of the social norms at the time. All these statements bring up the idea and comparison between what is human and what is machine. Marketing began, began to dominate the production process. American troops began to take their place and make the form into one that was American, and the best known of these troops was called the Rockettes. The Rockettes have become a symbol of American culture representing the discipline and glamour that are often associated with American show business. In conclusion, it is very interesting to understand where all these modernist ideas have gone and how they manifested themselves into a kind of future that we are now participating in. This essay highlights mesmerizing imagery from a modernist era and all the artifacts and cultures that it creates.
These are things that are worth looking into when discussing American modernity. Thank you.